one way to check assignments to see what you've completed or see if teachers have given you feedback is to go and check your grades. So grades not only will give you some information around scores that may have been given on certain items, but it will just also give you a list of all of the material types. It could be a, an assignment, an assessment, a media album, a discussion, all of those types of things. It'll give you a list of what your teacher has um, presented to you or given you, and um, as well as any scores or comments. So here's an example of one. You might see things divided into different categories. There's a couple different ways teachers are doing it. This one is divided into assignments, engagement, which might be things connected to a class meeting or a discussion, just wanting to know if I'm uh, participating, um, some formative assessments, so things that maybe they're not going to count against a grade, but they're just general information, some pre-assessments and summatives. Uh, some other ways that teachers are organizing categories, it might be around a week, so you might see one category might be a date range and all of the assignments under that date range. Uh, would would be together. Another way sometimes people are organizing it are by content area. So all of your math assignments might be together, all of your reading assignments. So that's how that is organized. And you might see a percentage up there that's just um, how much of the content is under that category. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, but this is the title of the assignment or discussion or whatever is the item that the teacher has given you. You can click on this and it will take you directly to that spot, that landing page in Schoology if you want to know about it. Um, and you can look at it a little bit more. You can look at the directions. You could even look at your document. Um, but some other things that you can see on that grading page, again, I'm over on the left, I'm clicking on grades, is it will tell me the score. This will let me know if there was a rubric that was used and I can even click on that. That'll show me, um, you know, what, why did I get a 2? Oh, I, I turned it in and I'm still working on it, but I maybe haven't met the objective yet. So I can go back and look at that. Your teacher may have also um, giving you, let me close that, um, some comments over here. So be sure to read it. Like this particular one, the teacher's letting me know that, oh, I'm getting this, but if I look at slide six, um, I just need to tell a little bit more. I can now go to that assignment. I can update it and most likely resubmit it to my teacher. If I see, <clears throat> depending on what grades are being used, um, that P is letting me know I passed in this case. This is letting me know that um, there is, uh, I resubmitted something for it. Some things like this you cannot click on and this is most likely an item that maybe was collected in a different way and so uh, this is showing me that yes, there is a, a grade column on this, but there's nothing in Schoology for me to go look at. So this was maybe something I turned in in person or through the mail or dropped off or whatever, but I'm not going to find that item in Schoology. I'm, it's something that I was um, given. So any time you see that little um, paper there, that means you have turned in something. So in this case, the item was turned in and was graded. But this one is letting me know that while I've turned something in, I've submitted something to the teacher, it hasn't been graded yet. So that's something to look at. And I can go and I can check on it. Um, if there are due dates, you will. these items here didn't have a particular due date, but this one does. So that's letting me know when that was due. Um, so you would be able to see again, here's a quiz and this is letting me know that I need to go back and review it. So take a look at grades and that should help you know what assignments are you're expected to complete. It will give you any scoring and any comments that the teacher has left for you.